Hi guys, hope you're all okay. It's Chantel. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about discontinued fragrances and my love for them. Now, I don't know what it is, but there's something about discontinued fragrances that makes me just want to pounce on them when I see them up for sale. Now, I think it's like a fear of missing out sort of thing. I definitely get four more and I just want to try all the discontinued fragrances and I've got quite a few of them in my collection and there's so many more on my wish list that I want to grab. Now let me know in the comments, are you the same? Do you love discontinued fragrances? Or do you just think, well, I just continued now and move on to something else, which really I think I should be doing because my collection of discontinued fragrances is just growing and growing. And obviously it comes with a bit of a cost problem as well because they always rise in price so much when they're discontinued and you are paying above like the recommended retail price for them i do this thing where i try and work out what i think is going to be like the next big thing of a discontinued fragrance and i always buy fragrances when i hear that they're going to become discontinued but really, it's only the ones that I'm really interested in, the ones that maybe I've tried before and I absolutely love, or fragrances that I sort of know from the notes that I'd really, really enjoy as well. So today, I thought I'd just go through all the discontinued fragrances I've got in my collection and also show you a few that I think are still quite readily available and ones that are becoming discontinued or very recently became discontinued as well. The first one I'm going to start off with is probably one of my absolute favourites that probably hurt us the most when I found out it was discontinued and I sought out a bottle because I just knew by all the rave reviews and all the notes of the fragrance that I'd absolutely love it and I love it so so much. It's Guerlain's Gourmand Coquine. Now this are, is one of the most stunning fragrances ever in my opinion. It's a beautiful boozy chocolate raspberry fragrance. It's so gorgeous and I love it so, so much. I absolutely cherish this bottle. I think it's such a gorgeous fragrance and I like to wear this one for really special occasions. Another thing that I find with discontinued fragrances, I hoard them and then I never want to wear them unless it's like a super special occasion because I never want them to run out. And really, I should be enjoying my fragrances for what they are. And once they've gone, they've gone. But I don't do that and I absolutely hoard them. I've got a few backups of these fragrances as well. Unfortunately, not of this one. This is my only bottle. But this is just a beautiful boozy fragrance and I love a good boozy note and fragrances and I love it when booze is mixed with chocolate and this is just done to absolute perfection in my opinion I think it's such a beautiful beautiful fragrance and one that I'd always love to say that I'd always have in my collection but unfortunately it doesn't look like girl Anne's going to bring this back out maybe sometime in the future I really hope that they think about doing so but at the moment it doesn't look promising so I love this one and this is a Gourmand Coquine by Galan. The next one is a fragrance by Tom Ford and it's Orchid Silly. Now this is another 
beautiful discontinued gem and i think that this bottle is absolutely stunning it's so so beautiful i love the color of it but this juice is something else it's very very unique it's got like a whipped cream note in here and chestnut as well and i get a whole load of that chestnut to me that's the most prominent note now i love the smell of this and i've never smelled anything quite like it and i actually find it really hard to describe this one i get a lot of the lily note that's in here as well and it reminds me of when i was a kid my mom used to really like lilies and i remember at some points she had lilies in the kitchen and it really reminds me of like that overpowering smell of lilies i think lilies have got such a strong smell and i really do like the smell of lilies and this juice is really orange it's like an orangey color inside so you've got to be very very careful when you're spraying this one because if you're wearing white or light colors it would definitely definitely stain but yeah i really love this one and i think it's super super unique but my husband despises the smell of it he thinks it smells like really old and musty and i can't say where he's coming from now i was watching claire smith's video the other day and she mentioned that this fragrance reminds her of mothballs and i totally totally get it it really really does so yeah this one is definitely not one for the faint-hearted it's not a straightforward fragrance in any means and i wouldn't say that it's likable either it's a very very unique fragrance and one that i love to have in my collection i don't wear it that often but i'm so so happy i've got it because i'll not go through it anytime soon and i'll have it for such a long time so yeah tom ford orchid silly now we've got a beautiful fragrance that is so well loved in the perfume community this is such a stunner and i can never ever understand why this was discontinued it's Mugler's alien essence absolute and this is heavenly it's so so beautiful it's like a if you've tried the original alien it's like a sort of vanillic version of that it's got a whole load of vanilla in there it's still very very heavy on the jasmine but it's just so gorgeous and intoxicating and just beautiful there's amber in here as well and it just smells really rich and expensive and super super luxurious and i love this one this is another one that is in like my top 10 of discontinued fragrances probably even like the top three i love it so so much it's super well loved in the fragrance community and rightly so because it's an absolute beauty and this i still see popping up from time to time the price has been amped right up but it's a stunner of a fragrance and i'm so so happy to have this one so yeah there's quite a few of Mugler fragrances i've got that have been discontinued since the brand got took over it seems that they discontinued a lot of amazing little gems and it's such a shame but yeah alien essence absolute i've got a couple more Mugler's i want to show you i've got two from the mirror mirror collection one is mirror de majesties which is a beautiful beautiful resinous ambery spicy fragrance i think this is stunning and i also think 
that it's got a little bit of like a vintage vibe to it and I think it's so so good it's one of the best Mugler fragrances in my opinion and I sometimes say this one it's still available and usually the price isn't massive for this either and I think it's such a good one so long lasting on the skin just an absolute treasure and the other one is Mirror de Joy and this is I'd say they're quite similar to one another this is more like a spicy I'd say more vintagey than the Mirror de Majesties but yeah they've got a similar vibe going on here they're like a spicy this is like a spicy amber and I would say this is more it smells more like a spicy floral but yeah both gorgeous both super super long lasting and I think they're amazing little gems so I love those two and another Moogler that has been discontinued is Alien Musk Mysterious now this is a beautiful musky take on the original Alien it's super super amped up with that musk it gives it a little bit in my opinion a little bit more of a masculine feel to it if you like musk and you love the original alien you'd absolutely love this one it's super super powerful it's not one that you would wear on a daily basis at all but to me it smells really really good it lasts all day on the skin and i really enjoy having this one as well and i think the bottle is absolutely stunning there's also a oud version of this one and i've heard really good things about that one as well and i sometimes see this one and the oud version popping up i see it quite a lot on places like depop um so yeah you'd probably still be able to get your hands on this one and i would recommend it if you want a little bit of a different take on the original alien i've also got a pre-reformulated version of alien as well which i'm so so happy to have because for me i think the lasting power the strength and everything is just so so much better on that one the current version to me is a little bit soapy for my taste i still do enjoy it but i definitely definitely prefer the reformulated version so another beauty that i'm so happy to have and i've had loads of backup bottles of this which i've actually given a few away to friends because i find it so so beautiful i've still got a backup and i can't see myself going through them both because the huge bottles it's a 250 ml and it's the eau de missions cologne now this is a beautiful straight up vanilla scent and i really enjoy it this is excellent for wearing on its own for layering you can do so many things with this if you want to add a bit of vanilla to any fragrance this is so so good for layering and as you can see it's an absolute huge a bottle but it's also been said that this is quite similar to Guerlain Spiritus Double Vanille now I've not actually smelt that fragrance so I can't compare but I've heard a lot of people comparing them and this was so inexpensive before it got discontinued and it's such a good one. It doesn't last all day on the skin. It's definitely got to be reapplied but as I say for layering purposes it's just an absolute beauty and i sometimes just like to wear this one when i'm just like lazing around the house it's just such a nice vanilla sort of simple fragrance and i really love it 
So that's Eau de Missions Cologne by Le Coven de Minimi. Love it. Another one that was a really hyped up fragrance that unfortunately has been discontinued for a little while now is Elisab Essence Number no. 1 Rose. Now when I first started my channel, this was so, so hyped up. And rightly so, because it's such a stunning rose fragrance. I love this. And every time I smell it, it does remind us of when I first started my channel, because I used to wear this quite a lot around that time. It gives us so many nice, happy memories of getting to know all you guys and I loved, I loved it when I started my channel. I had thought about doing it for such a long time. And I got up the courage just to do a video. I didn't know how it would go. And I got so many lovely comments. And here I am. I'm still doing my videos. I love chatting to you lot. But this just gives us so many happy memories. This is a syrupy, sweet rose fragrance. I always think that this has got like a little bit of a gothic vibe to it. It's not like a fresh rose. It's definitely a syrupy, sweet, darker style of rose in my opinion. And I always say, this to me gives us like a little bit of a dusty vibe as well. It reminds us of like haunted mansions. Do you know what it actually reminds us of? And it's just came to my head now, you know, like Beauty and the Beast and the Rose in the film. That's the vibe it gives off. I can't imagine the castle in Beauty and the Beast smelling like this fragrance. Oh, I love it so, so much. And it's such a shame because this is an amazing, amazing fragrance. I love it. Elisab Essence Number no. 1 Rose. There's another Mooglet that I forgot to mention, and it's actually from the men's line. It's Amen Pure Havan, and this is a stunning honeyed tobacco fragrance. I find this absolutely beautiful. To me, it smells very, very unisex. There's quite a few in this line that were really excellent fragrances, but this is the one that really broke my heart because I love it so, so much. It's a gorgeous honeyed tobacco. And as you all know, I'm not a massive fan of honey in fragrances, but this is just done to perfection. And such a shame that this one's gone. So yeah, Pure Havan by Moogla. This one is a fragrance that has very very recently been discontinued now it's still readily available at the normal price you can probably even get it at reduced price i did i think i got mine from natino and it's lancome la nuit trésor à la folie now I noticed that this had been removed from the Lancome website and I read somewhere that it's now getting replaced by the new version and it's such a shame because I had wanted this for ages, such a long time. I had heard so many people talking about it but the person that I heard talking about it the most that really pushed it to want this one was my lovely friend Sally from the channel Sally Marion. Now this, when it came the other day, because I've only just recently getting it, I was blown away by it. I love it so, so much. I love the original La Nuit Trésor. And I didn't think, well, I do love vanilla and this is amped up with vanilla. There's a whole load of vanilla in there. But I didn't think that I'd love it as much as the original. And I think I love this more. It's so, so beautiful. And to me, I think it's quite unique smelling as well. It's amped up with a whole load of vanilla, as I say. 
it's just to me it smells like a sort of vanilla syrupy sweet cupcake maybe like a rose and vanilla cupcake and it also gives us the vibes of like you know like the scented dolls back in like the 90s it gives us that sort of vibe it hasn't got like a plasticky smell to it but it gives us the vibe of like cupcake dolls and like scented dolls it smells amazing and I'm so so happy I got it because I can see this one going up in price so so much when it becomes hard to get a hold of so if you've had this on your wish list for a little while or you absolutely love this fragrance I definitely definitely recommend getting a backup because I do think that this one has been discontinued now. I'm definitely going to get it back up because I can see myself wearing this one a lot. So yeah, love it. It's La Nuit Trésor à la Folie. Gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Then I've got a one that I absolutely love, which was so, so affordable. But I have seen it going up in price quite a lot lately. It's Sarah Jessica Parker Stash. Now this is so, so unique. It does smell quite niche in my opinion. And I think this is so well done. It's a really woody fragrance. And definitely, definitely unisex. Totally unisex in my opinion. And some people even think that it leans slightly more masculine. I think it's straight down the line. I love it. I wear it quite a bit. I've had a couple of bottles of this since I bought it. Because it's so, so beautiful. And it reminds me a little bit of Mason Margiela Jazz Club. It has a similar sort of vibe, in my opinion. This gives off like a little bit. It's very, very woody. But it does give off a little bit of a boozy vibe in my opinion. I really, really enjoy it. I think it's an excellent, excellent fragrance. And if you can get your hands on this for a decent price, I definitely, definitely recommend it. So yeah, SJP Stash. So I've just got a few more now to show you. Maybe I should have done this video in two parts but never mind we'll just get on with it i've got want from d squared now this was hyped a little while ago i heard quite a lot of people talking about it but this is just a beautiful vanilla fragrance it's got a little bit of florals in there but it's mainly vanilla and I think it's really good. I got this for such an affordable price. I think it was a little bit over like £10 or something like that. It was such a good price. And it's a really, really nice one. Now, this has become harder to find now. And I think like a lot of people bought it because I heard Joyce talking about it originally and i also heard claire from smith smurphy girly and my amazing friend francis from happiness sparkles as well i'll link everyone's channels that i've mentioned today in the video below and you can check them all out because they've all got amazing channels with amazing amazing content so i'd highly highly recommend the ladies that i've mentioned today but yeah, Day Squared Wand, a beautiful vanilla fragrance. It's quite, I think, it gives off a slight boozy vibe again. I do get a little bit, not a whole load, but like a syrupy, boozy vanilla, in my opinion. So yeah, love it. And I really, really like the bottle as well. I've also got Bulgari Black. Now, this is an EDT, but this to me oh, smells like leather and rubber, and it's a little bit vanilla -y. It's got like a smoky vibe to it, a slight, 
smoky vibe but i get like a whole load of that sort of leather and rubber vibe and it always reminds me of like a new car the smell of a new car i think it's a real beauty and such a shame to be discontinued because i love this one so so much i think this is actually targeted towards men but i think it's really really unisex and very versatile actually it sounds like really strange having that sort of rubbery vibe but i love it and i think it's quite unique it's not really overpowering either it's a really nice fragrance so yeah bulgari black the next one is another Guerlain that I sh forgot to show you earlier. It's Terracotta Le Parfum. This is the most beautiful summertime fragrance. It reminds me of holidays, like you're on a beautiful island getaway and you're having your evening meal underneath the stars. You're drinking champagne. And you're looking really, really elegant. This is the sort of fragrance I can imagine wearing. It's a beautiful, as exotic floral. You've got some coconut and vanilla in there as well. It's TR flower. And I think that this one is super, super elegant. It's put together. It's a beautiful, classic sort of summertime or holiday fragrance i can imagine a very elegant lady wearing this one and it's just such a good one for the summertime would definitely recommend this if you can get your hands on it it's an absolute staple in my collection for the summertime such a good one and then we've got midnight shimmer by michael kors which is a beautiful rich vanilla fragrance that smells super super expensive it smells a lot more expensive than what it is oh, it's a beautiful deep vanilla fragrance love that one too and the final one i want to show you today is a fragrance by jimmy choo this is the rose gold edition and this was a limited edition and what it is it's a toffee and sort of like an orange rind fragrance it smells like sugared orange and toffee that's exactly what it smells like eh? it's quite festive it does remind us of like the orange little sugared orange pieces you put on like christmas cakes and things like that and they're mixed with that sort of toffee it just smells absolutely edible it's so so beautiful and i really love this one if you like the original jimmy choo this is a stunning like sort of festive twist on it I think it's such a beauty, but I'm not sure that you can get your hands on this one anymore. But I love having this in my collection. So yeah, Jimmy Choo Rose Gold Edition. So that's it for today, guys. It's been a bit of a longer video than I expected. When I got all these fragrances out, I didn't realise quite how many discontinued fragrances I have. And I've got a whole load more because I've got like all the Mason Langhams that I very recently did a video on. So I didn't mention them in this video, but I will link the video down below all about the Mason Langhams because quite a lot of them have been discontinued now. So definitely comment below. Let me know, have you got the same sort of feelings about discontinued fragrances as i have do you hold them or do you just let them go i'd love to know what you guys think give us a big thumbs up if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and let us know what your favorite fragrance that's been discontinued and i'll see you all very soon in the next one bye